Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to the DISH POS dashboard. In this tutorial, we show you how to add time restrictions to your menus. First, click on Products. Then go to Periods. And add a new time period by clicking on Plus Add Period. A new window opens up where you can enter all the information for the new time period. Start by entering the name into the respective text field. If your time period is including the whole day, set the check mark for the checkbox next to all day. If the time period starts on a specific day, use the calendar drop down menu and time menu to set these accordingly. Now set the duration by entering a number into the first field and use the drop down menu next to it to set a time unit for the duration. To make the time period repeatable, set the check mark next to can be repeated. Then a new option will be visible. Enter a number into the first field to set the frequency for how often the time period will be repeated. Afterwards, use the drop down menu to select a time unit for the set frequency. Once you set the frequency, decide whether the repetition shall be stopped or not by using the corresponding drop down menu. If you set the repetition to stop, use the calendar drop down menu to select on which date the repetition should stop. Then, use the time menu to set the timing for the end of the repetition. Once you set up all the information, click on Save to apply the changes. Back in the overview of your time periods, you can adjust them by clicking on the respective edit icon. If you wish to delete a time period, click on the respective bin icon. You will be asked to confirm your action to make sure you don't delete the item on accident. Click on Delete to confirm your action. That's it! You completed the tutorial and now know how to add time restrictions to your menus.